everyone welcome back and in this video I'm going to give you some information on ELT so we would have come across ETL which is extract transform and load if you haven't come across that you can click on the link given in the description box where you can view the video on what is ETL and what what are the different you know stages of ETL so you can view that and in this video we will be looking at ELT so let's get into it so ELT also called as extract load and transform is an alternate approach of integration of data from across multiple sources in an organization. So just to give you an overview, every organization would have not just one software application. It would have many applications and many devices by which data gets generated. So the main aim of this data integration concept is to integrate all these sources and to integrate all the data and in order you will be able to sync up the data, you will be able to manipulate the data and store it so that you will have a single source of truth. So that is the main aim of integration tools and ETL is one of the ways in which you can do that. So what you do is you first extract data, transform the data which is nothing but transforming is nothing but changing the structure of the data and then you would load data so that is ETL but totally on the contrary of that a little alternate approach is ELT where data first is taken it's extracted loaded and then transformed so that is what we'll be looking at in this video which is ELT so as I said, traditionally in ELT, data is extracted, transformed and then loaded into the target data storages. Now when you look at the data storages over here, it is relational databases, data warehouses, data marts and very rarely data lakes. So here the main thing to note is mostly the data would be loaded in relational databases, data warehouses and data marts. And these data storages are structured they contain structured data you can store data which is structured and meets the requirements of these data storages so unstructured data will not be entertained in these data storages so that's why there is a need to transform that data in such a way that the format the structure matches those data um, uh, storages it matches their format so that we can load the data. So this is the traditional ETL approach. In ELT what we do is first the data is extracted which is the same as what is done in ETL but instead of transforming the data the data is loaded and here when you load the data the data is loaded in a hybrid data storage which is a data lake. If you want to view the difference between a data warehouse, a data mart and a data lake, I've taken a video on that also. You can click on the link given in the description box and you can view that. Data lakes are hybrid data storages which means that it can store structured as well as unstructured data. So since it can accommodate a hybrid variety of data, you don't have the headache of manipulating the data, converting the data to a particular format and then loading it. Whatever data you just get, whatever just data keeps coming in, you can load it into your data warehouse. And after loading it, now since you have the data with you, you can transform the data at your convenience, whenever you want, however you want, so that it can match your destinated or your targeted data storages. So that's why ELT is used and there are some scenarios where people prefer ETL and ELT but I'll be taking that in a different video. But for now this is the high level uh, information on what is ELT. So here let us look at this in this way. So people who are new to this ETL and ELT concept, I'll put it to you in a very simpler way. Of course this is not used for food industries. But this is an example which will be very easy to understand. So when you look at ETL, as I said, the three stages are extract, transform and load. So first think that these two are the data store, um, sources from which data comes in. So in our case, we have data which are the fruits. Now the fruits are your sources which provide the data and 
you have load where your data has to be stored in a particular format here our format is bottles now you cannot directly load fruits in your store in your targeted store, store data storage locations because it's not of the um, format that is required so what we have to do in order to satisfy these requirements we need to do some transformation we need to do some manipulation in order that our data matches and is in a structure that is acceptable by the target data storages so what we are doing in this phase is we are transforming the data so in this phase we are transforming information which is the fruits get transformed into a juice and is loaded and is stored in a juice bottle which can then be loaded into the data storage which either can be in your fridge or it can be in other storage locations so this is why we go in for etl so this is about e the tra extraction transformation and loading of data okay so now when you look at elt so i said you don't in elt always think about the data lake where you don't have to think about structured or unstructured data be whatever type your data is you can load it in your data lake all you have to do is you just have to take your data and then store it in your data lake and then conveniently at your own pace at your own time and convenience you can take up that data transform it and use your data so that's what we are doing over here fruits and juice bottles both are loaded in your data lake so once it's loaded in your data lake as i said you can take up that data later on whenever you want and you can transform it and then load it into some data um, storages which are structured since you already have structured data so here this is the abstract information of what is etl and elt so this was an example which i gave about fruits and juice bottles but in in the real world data is of different types structured and unstructured you have data coming from iot devices from applications you have data like structured data like databases excel you have word files you have video you have audio files these are all the different types of data that keep generating every day so all these datas are a mixture of your structured and unstructured data so the way you want to manage this information the way you want to integrate all this information coming from different devices and applications and sources is what data integration is about and in order to do that data integration there are two approaches which is etl and elt so in the next video i will be giving you the differences between these two so you can watch out for that video if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to this channel and do share your feedbacks thank you